You know what people say about big walls? They have big towers. A lot of people still watch my old castle tutorials, and the other day I imagined all of you with sweet castles and no towers on your walls, and I threw up in my mouth a little. So here's some historically inspired towers so you can shoot up zombies in incredibly unnecessary fashion. First thing you need to think about with these things is scale. If your tower is only four blocks in diameter and 10 blocks tall, and has a one block overhang at the top, it's gonna look silly. Uh, these are big structures, make them big. You could even stretch them out taller than I have them. There's two major shape types, round and square, but you can get creative with horseshoe shapes or half square, half circles. All these have a wall running through them, and they also function so that you could walk along the top of the wall through the towers. But if your walls don't have a path at the top of them, just ignore it, it's a nice touch. The first two are kind of variations on the same design, one being round and the other being square. You can take creative liberties with this. They don't need to be built block by block as you see them. You can take ideas from different ones and make them how you like them. I kind of show this with these. One of them has a roof, the square one has a line breaking up the middle of it, the round one has a ledge. They don't have to be built like this, you can use the ideas from each one that you like on one tower. The third one is inspired by a castle tower I saw in a picture that had a smaller wall on top instead of the classic overhang with a lip where it changes in diameter and I thought it was really cool. You can see at the base that I like to put columns on my tower, I think they make the base of them look more sturdy. These all have different sorts of lines running through them to break up the middle of them. They don't even necessarily need them, it just breaks up the monotony of a large flat structure. At the top I put a cozy fireplace area for, for the guards to keep warm in. And I, I encourage you, if you're building something this big, or really if you're building anything, de details like this um, make them feel lived in, which is a topic I may make in the future if there's interest. The fourth is probably the most unrealistic, or, or at least the least useful tower. Towers serve up to break up castle walls and ideally they would have mill doors on them. I use wooden ones just because I like the way they look more. Uh, but the idea is that if a tower is on a portion of wall and that either that tower or the wall were taken by the enemy, they would block off the enemy from the other portions of the wall uh, by the tower. Not the case here, but I still really like this tower. It leaves everything open to the backside, makes for an interesting view looking out. Added some mix-ups with that, how the tower overhangs out of this little roof. I really like this tower. The fifth one I built to show mostly that you don't need all these overhangs and decorations for these towers to look cool. Most castles are even less interesting than this in real life, but it still looks great. Really, it, it still does the trick. Make sure you mix up the composition of the blocks in your walls and it will be hard to go wrong. As you can see from here, they look great from the ground, which I think is really important since that's how you would realistically view them. The sixth is called a Bartizan. Uh, you can do this with any of these towers, but Bartizan is a tower whose base does not reach the ground. I just tapered it off with the stairs. Uh, these look really good if you make them a little bit smaller. I probably won't make it much bigger than I have it unless your wall is pretty massive. Uh, I put a roof on the wall section really just to show that there are ways that you can mix things up and make it more interesting. The seventh is a redesign of the basic square one a couple back. I just pulled it out, moved the walls around a little bit, and added a little checkpoint house on the wall so you still have to pass through it to access the tower. By now you should have a pretty good idea of different options that you have that you can use to mix up these towers. Uh, this could have a rounded side, it could have a roof, lots of options. Finally is a bastion where the tower is not taller than the wall with a little flag on top. I made this one pretty basic, easy to build, nice way to break up a long wall or put it on a corner. I know I didn't show you how to build these block by block, I get asked for that a lot. Uh, that would take way too long, I'm more interested in conveying the idea to you guys that allow me to build these towers without too much thought. If you really just are in love with a specific tower, pause the video, take a look at it. There should be enough angles on every tower that you get a good idea of how to build it. If you like this, this is one of multiple videos I have covering historically inspired cast designs, link in the description. I'm trying to get back into the groove of making videos, so thank you for your support and watching this far. See you in the next one.